screwdriver prank is making a comeback. We golf with a caddy. This is the proper way to dance while singing your ABCs. That's all for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is called the Lukla Airport, located in Nepal, and it is probably the most dangerous airport in the world. Over the past decade, over 40 people have died attempting to land at this airport. This is actually a fairly popular airport to visit because this is where most people begin their climb of Mount Everest. Um noise any second here we go that's nice seems very sedate what's all some pilots have to abort their landings at the last second because of unexpected crosswinds oh god get out of here oh my god it did so initially it's free and then Lewis. It's not gonna be on every week in chapter two. And I'm Will. Eli! Sean! Dame! Come here! Come here, little guy. If I had one of these things, working out would be instantly so much more fun. Did you know that parrots like to take baths? If you have $160 to spare, you can buy one of these globes. This is how sod is harvested. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Many of the streets in Los Angeles are being painted white as a way to help cool down the city. The hope is that the streets will have a more difficult time absorbing radiation emitted from the sun. There's a zoo in New Zealand that traps you in a cage and lets lions crawl all around you. Police officers are using new technology when trying to stop fleeing vehicles. This device gets caught entangled in the suspect's wheel, which allows the officer to slow down the vehicle from behind.
these guys found a truck that's been abandoned for over two years, so they decided to see if they could hotwire the truck and get it running again. <laughs> All the cheap, like, Walmart light stuff, too. Yeah. The only thing that's... Yes, it does. <laughs> and that's how it's done. <laughs> This company figured out a method to extract honey from a beehive without disturbing the bees. And that goes into the honey leak back point. The bees keep the hive at about 35 degrees, which means the honey comes out quite warm. You can feel the jar and feel that the honey actually is a little bit warm. These are called brittle starfish and they can be found on the coast of California. Large groups of these brittle stars are often found together at low tide under rocks and in shallow pools possibly drawn by concentrations of decaying organic matter, which is a favorite food. These groups can include other animals. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. In this first clip we have a pea farmer that saves people from a burning building. This guy goes to figure out if psychics are real. I want to know if she can tell, you know, psychics can tell your future or whatever you're about to go through. So I want to know if she can tell that I'm about to do this. Hey! What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you out of your fucking mind? Get the fuck out of here before I call the fucking police. Officer. I heard you guys were psychics. I want to know if you were able to talk to me. Get out of here! Get the fuck out of here before I call Guess the fucking police. Guess not. This is one cute prairie dog. That's all for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you guys again very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is Peanut the Trucker Cat. His owner drives a big semi-truck for a living and likes to travel for thousands of miles. This is what conditions are like for over 100,000 people living in Hong Kong. With so many people living in such a small area, these people pay over $150 a month to live in a cage or metal box. To make things even worse, about 15 people have to share the same bathroom. The military in Ukraine decided to show off how advanced their weapons are. Despite being on a boat, the gun is so stable that it can balance a cup of water. There's a train in Thailand that goes straight through a marketplace.
This is the USS Arizona Memorial, located in Hawaii. When the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor in 1941, this ship and over 1,000 U.S. sailors sunk to the bottom of the harbor. What makes this memorial so interesting is that over 77 years later, you can still see oil from the ship rise to the surface. Look, it just comes again and again right in here. Look at this. The bark from this tree is used to make cork for wine bottles. The bark grows back on the tree about 9 years later to be harvested again. The average cork tree gets harvested about 12 times in its lifetime. Nice. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. These penguins discovered a camera and they weren't sure what to do with it. It's pretty cool to watch artillery fire in slow motion. This is called the ranger roll and it's super useful when someone is unconscious or just too drunk to get up so you gotta carry them home. Here's the proper way to trim your shrimp garden. Nintendo just announced that Super Smash Bros. is coming to the Nintendo Switch and everyone freaked out. Here's a golfer that doesn't have any hands. Here's a really cool table, but it seems really easy to pinch your fingers. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you have a wonderful day and a wonderful life, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Honey, I'm yes. going to show you a trick. Okay, show me a trick. See the penny? I see the penny. I'll put this bottle of water right on top of the penny. Okay. And then I'm going to put this over it. Okay. And when I say the magic words, yeah. the penny is going to go inside the bottle. Really? Yes. Okay, let me see this happen. Okay. Now I got the tower. Boogie boogie. Boogie boogie. Boogity boogity. Boogity boogity. Okay. Now you look down in there and the penny's inside the bottle. Oh! <laughs> this dog is having the time of its life. Loves it, eh? That's looking awesome.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
In case you didn't know, this is what daytime fireworks look like. This plane in Canada was called in to extinguish a fire in the middle of a road. Nobody was harmed, and unfortunately the video gets a little cut off at the end. This is the largest wave that was ever surfed. Back in November 2017, off the coast of Portugal, the surfer rode a wave that was over 80 feet tall. This figure is created by sending an incredible amount of electricity through glass and plastic. What's cool about this is that the design will continue to flicker with electricity for up to 30 minutes after the initial discharge. We need a windscreen wiper. <laughs> This person attached a drone to an umbrella to make it look like it's floating over his head. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This guy is having some fun with a 765,000 volt power line. <laughs> that one, that's getting in there. Did you know that deers love leaf blowers? Don't worry, the person was totally fine. It was actually the tree behind the person that got struck by lightning. This cameraman probably pooped his pants. This was filmed at an art exhibit in France and for some reason it's really calming and relaxing to watch. We can achieve our goals, but we have to work together. This mouse is hoping this cat will leave it alone by playing dead. I can do it! <laughs> Come on.
What's amazing to me is that back in the 1500s, people had wooden boats that had to go up against waves that looked like this. <laughs> That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching today, and hopefully you stop by again tomorrow. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. These officers are looking for a runaway fugitive. Luckily they have a dog that can sniff them out even under the water. Caralho. Fica aí, fica aí. Que aqui eu não sei se ele vai pra lá, se ele vai continuar. Acho que ele vai pegar pra cá, ó. Ali! Ref, 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 ref! This girl tries shotgunning a beer, which scares the dog, which ends up with her on her face. This is why you should never judge a book by its cover. Hey guys, me, man. That's um, it's something I got. I wrote for you guys, and and I know you're gonna like it. <laughs> These firefighters save this puppy's life. Hold on, we're gonna give him some oxygen, sir. That's all for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. These are the Blue Angels, and they love flying in really tight formations. What you're looking at right now are little tiny microbes that live in the digestive system of a termite. These microbes help break down the wood that the termite eats. They also can't be found anywhere else in the world except in a termite. This dog is really scared of walking on a glass floor. This is what it's like to go swimming through a cloud of jellyfish. Here's a mama fish hanging out with her baby fish.
If you don't have a pet bee right now, you're missing out. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is what happens when you use a little too much lighter fluid. This baby elephant loves chasing birds. <laughs> this guy bought himself a parachute off the internet and then proceeded to jump off a balcony. I'm your awesome. And Papa. You want me to look? Papa. What's up, That's all for today's video. Hopefully, you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. It has recently been discovered that there are racist soap dispensers. Black hand, nothing. Larry, go. Is that napkin? I'm sure it this koala got kicked out of a tree by a bigger koala and it won't stop crying. This guy rides a skateboard like a figure skater. Gliding and turning, I think, are the heart and soul of skateboarding. You could take almost everything else away. Aerials, board flips, ollies, even ramps. And you'd still have something that you could call skateboarding. But if you took away gliding and turning, you take away the very essence of the sport. This person gets involved in a hit and run and attempts to drive away, but random people drive ahead to make sure he can't escape. That's all for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is how tomatoes are sorted on the assembly line. These machines use a process called optical sorting, which basically means if you're not of a certain color, you're not getting in. But these machines can also detect size, shape, and even chemical composition within milliseconds. Here's a great demonstration as to why your kneecap is so important. The kneecap creates a fulcrum that allows the quadriceps tendon and patellar tendon to extend the knee without too much strain. This device simulates contraction of the quadriceps muscles as they extend the knee. And this is how your leg would work without a kneecap. Also, the rubber band is exposed to a lot of friction as it rubs against the wood. Ha ha ha!
Alpacas are such underrated animals. Aspen, where's your leg? Go get your leg. Go get your leg. There's this thing called speed flying, and it looks pretty dangerous. That's the end of this video. Hopefully it made your day just a little better, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later! Hey, what's going on guys? This is your Daily Dose of Internet. In this first clip, you can see a father saving his child from getting run over by a car. Amazingly, no one was hurt. Here's another crazy car crash, but with the same exact result. Amazingly, no one was hurt. But the driver did sustain a few minor injuries. But still pretty crazy. Jesus, take the wheel, take it from my head. That's all for today's episode, and hopefully I will see you guys again very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. There's a place in New Zealand where you can take a car down a hill and race other people. This is called a 3D pen, and it allows people to create some pretty amazing things. I was driving to work this morning and I saw these people jogging in negative two degree weather. So they're probably dead. I found the most beautiful basketball court in the world. This little place is located between two buildings in Paris, France. By using some liquid nitrogen and some magnets, you can make a pretty cool science project. <laughs> this puppy got a puppy for Christmas. What is that, Cash? Oh my! <laughs> oh my goodness! Did you get a puppy? Did you get? A Here's a genius device that cuts the grass around poles. That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. 
This video will pretty much be entirely dedicated to clips from Hurricane Harvey. In this first clip, the National Guard got stuck in the water, so these guys got their giant trucks to pull them out. These are all citizens lined up to go help out people in Houston. This woman just lost everything, and CNN wants to know how her day is going. But y'all sit here, y'all trying to interview people during their worst times. Like, that's not the smartest thing to do. Like, Sorry. people are really breaking down, and y'all sitting here with cameras and microphones trying to ask us what the fuck is wrong with us. I'm so and you really man. trying to understand with the microphone still in my face Sorry. with me shivering cold with my kids wet and you still putting a microphone Sorry, in man. my face. Sorry. Rosa Flores, uh, it sounds like you've got a very upset family there. Uh, the current situation in Houston. This dog has a drinking problem. <laughs> That's all for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Back in 1986, the city of Cleveland thought it was a good idea to release over 1.5 million balloons into the air. The Guinness Book of World Records has just been broken in Cleveland. Over 1,500,000 balloons. It's completely covering the terminal tower. Oh, look at that. I want to sing up, up and away. <laughs> It is awesome, ladies and gentlemen, to actually be down here and see the multi-colors that are going up in the air at this moment. We did it, Jeff. This is it. Let's do it for Cleveland. <laughs> this little guy sounds like he's revving his engine. This guy is talking a whole lot of smack, but he can't seem to back it up. Stupid motherfucker, why don't you learn that fucking track, you dumb fuck? Fucking two, bitch! Do something, motherfucker! Pull up! You ain't gonna do shit! Fuck up! These Snapchat hot dog guy memes are getting a little out of hand. That's all for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you guys again very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. There's a farm where old bears go to retire. Many of the bears you see here have worked in movies, the circus, or simply wouldn't be able to survive by themselves in the wild. Many of these bears have learned that if you wave at the people in the car, they'll give you food. Oh, look at him. He's waving. In case you didn't know, the Netherlands have been really windy the past couple days. Yeah, oh, the hottie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Some university students made a giant playable game of Tetris on the side of a building. Oh god. <laughs> Just do it, do it that way. Uh, 
<laughs> Do it that way. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh, oh no. no! Oh god! We got this! We got oh, this, bro! At least we're not playing first place. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. There, yeah. Oh, other side. Worth it, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. Apparently, you can reignite a candle the second after you extinguish it. This is one of the many dangers of being a firefighter. This is called a backdraft, and it's what happens when a fire is suffocated of any sort of oxygen, and then all of a sudden, oxygen is reintroduced to the fire. Here's a secret lake located in Pakistan. This is how people back in the 1800s would record their voice without using any electricity. The way it works is sound travels down this horn and the vibrations that occur get imprinted onto the cylinder covered in wax. A house full of children, now one of them is mine, tell me, how long, how long must I wait? If I got a house full of children, now one of them is mine, tell me, how long? That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new today, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. I found some videos of seals rolling down hills. <laughs> How does it feel to know that this walrus is more physically active than you? Oh boy. Wow. Can someone please tell me what is going on here? Is this a parade? Is this a parade for caterpillars? What is going on here? If you have $700 to spare, you can buy yourself a camera with a zoom like this. And it kind of makes you think, because if you can buy this type of technology for only $700, imagine what our government can get. Here are some quick videos of curious cats investigating a metronome. <laughs> you can buy yourself a bike that works on snow. An artist made an exhibit that allows you to walk on a floor made of eggs. I had no idea it was even possible to walk on eggs in the first place. That's the end of this video. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Later!
Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is called a Portuguese Man of War, and although it looks like a jellyfish, it's actually a bunch of little organisms working together to make one big organism. These things are extremely dangerous because sometimes their venom is powerful enough to kill humans. The top part that looks like a comfy pillow is actually a gas bladder filled with oxygen and carbon monoxide that gives it the ability to float. <laughs> this is called a white-breasted nuthatch, and they love to dance. Although this looks like a really weird mating dance, this is actually a display they do to defend a source of food from competitors. Here's a robot that knows how to do gymnastics. This is called an MV-22B Osprey, and these are some absolutely incredible machines. This is what the longest day in Alaska looks like where the sun never sets. This is what happens when you shine a laser beam down a fiber optic rod. This is how a seaplane takes off from an airport. This river in Brazil flooded and went way over this bridge and made a beautiful underwater paradise. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little tiny bit better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Underwater? Yeah. Oh! This rhino ran right up to this photographer and demanded belly rubs. This is called the double wrench method, which is a super simple way to break open a lock. And then the second one at a 90 degree angle. So let's see what happens when we try this. Okay, looks like we broke something, but it's not completely open. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Sometime in the first century, a nomadic tribe in Saudi Arabia carved this tomb from a giant rock. There's over 100 other similar tombs scattered throughout the desert. These tombs were built for the wealthiest and most important members of their society.
This is how a sea cucumber eats. They walk on the floor and throw sand in their mouth and digest whatever organic matter they can find. And what we see the, uh, the holothurian doing here again is, is consuming sediment. They are able to eviscerate the, their guts, uh, for example, uh, and that will then stick to the predator and confuse them. Happy baking, everyone. Here we have some brioche dough, which goes into a bun divider. Push this down, divide it, and now we're going to round it for a few seconds. And voila, you have equal 36 pieces. This company made a device that allows you to create and animate your own holograms. And you look at it and you interact with it, there's no clunky headgear, there's no extended setup. That's in this video, I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Do you hate doing PowerPoint presentations in front of the entire class? Well, using this USB stick, you'll never have to do one again because you'll be in jail. There's a tattoo artist that has a prosthetic arm. <laughs> this is called an ermine or a stoat, and they're really interesting because in the summer they have a brown coat on, but in the winter they're pure white. Boy, are you cute. <laughs> and you're just snow white. This is called a gravity hook, and it's pretty cool to see how easy it is to pick up things off the ground. Oh, I think I'm gonna get it, Olivia. Here's a quick glimpse of what India looks like. Here's an American flag made out of fireworks. I know a lot of people don't like sports, but it's really cool to see how they bring people together. I know service dogs are a thing, but I've never heard of a service horse before. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm still battling a cold, so I apologize. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This is polyethylene glycol, and it's a type of liquid that has the ability to pour itself. <laughs> Look at that. Just up and over the end of it.